Yeah. So we have included uh, in our architecture we have included one more service that is Jipkin server. Right? We included the uh, Jipkin server for a tracing purpose. Uh, distributed tracing when the request came and the request from one service to another service it went fine or not you know to track that when there is some you know critical issue or uh, you during user execution right if you face some trouble when he reach out to the customer care when they report an issue to uh, you know back end team we should be in a position to identify where is the problem right so if you have this JIPKIT server, as I shown in the example, right, we can able to see the trace. Let's say if admin UI called admin service via gateway. So the request will go to the gateway first, from gateway it will go to admin service. If it have subsequent, you know, another request from admin to, excuse me, yes. So in architecture, I'm just talking about the Jipkin server, which we, uh, you know, uh, included in our architecture to trace it, to trace it, each request. So each request will be recorded into Jipkin server. So while traveling from uh, UI to gateway, from here, the backend services calling will start, right? Gateway will call admin service, gateway will call manager, seller, customer, delivery, whatever calls. So all your calls will be traced. So via this server, we can able to easily trace the request. Well, let's say, as I said, right, for example, if I uh, make a call from uh, admin UI to admin service, if admin service wants to see uh, some seller operations which you have implemented already, from here I want to make a call to manager or from here I want to make a call to seller or customer service. Let's say micro services they don't have any control right if you don't put any control uh, if they have uh, interdependencies between them so one service may call another service the call may go via gateway but we can able to make such calls right Ga uh, admin service if it wants to call manager service or seller service via gateway it may redirect to manager or seller or customer so one request may flow to the multiple services so during that execution, if something fails uh, to trace it out, you know, this will help us. So this one also we will include. And today I want to add one topic uh, which enables uh, a kind of uh, security to your uh, code. You may call security or uh, uh, you may say performance improvements purpose also you may add this CQRS pattern you can apply command query pattern command query pattern also you can apply to your application okay for data exchange so what this will do here is in simple words here we have multiple uh, front end and multiple back end applications. While designing back end applications, CQRS, what it says is let's say here you have admin UI. Consider you have two screens admin UI, you have two screens. One is a listing screen, listing all employees, list managers or list employees and create employee create is a post method list is a get method so usually on my day to day activity as an admin I may not create many managers but I may see their data on a regular basis each manager details their attendant details or whatever it is usually in CRUD operations more than create, update, delete operations, we do calls to the fetch operations. Fetch operations frequently we request. 
so if you see the ratio create maybe for this use case right let's say on monthly basis he may create 100 managers but this list operation list operation may call thousands of times for every login for every hit you may hit your database so this list operations may execute it so many times but this create operations executes very less number of times now coming to your backend service your admin service you have here in this admin service you have one employee controller which you implemented employee controller or manager controller you implemented in this manager controller only i have all my cloud operations in this manager controller only i have all my cloud operations from create onwards create update delete and find find by id find all so almost all methods i have here all cloud operation methods out of this five methods these three methods are for ddl operations dml operations okay not ddl so data manipulations inserting or updating deleting and the last two are select operations find select operations or drl you can say dml modification drl retrieve so from this controller frequently you may you may use these two methods more than these three methods okay so to improve the performance right to improve the performance you may increase the ram or uh, uh, multiple calls or infrastructure side you know uh, memory and all you will you will apply for complete application right so instead of you keeping all methods into a single class as per cq command query pattern what they are saying keep these three methods in a, a class one class you can call it as a command class and keep all select methods in a separate class you can call that class as a query class so they are saying divide again controller into two parts divide controller into two parts which means you need to break your application use cases into two layers again okay so while implementation of controller or service dao's right service dao you can implement them controller service dio here you can implement command methods in one class all command methods means only dml operations dml operation controller and for the dml operations your business methods for the dml operations only your do methods usually repository class will provide all the methods uh, but you can use whatever methods you want only create update delete methods only we use right you can call that methods only and now for this find methods you can create a separate class one more class one one class is for create one class is for select so you can you can write this class as a command class command controller employee command controller employee command controller which have dml operations and this select operations you can write it in a separate controller class and you may you may make it as a query class employee query controller in this employee query controller you can put all select operations just a minute query controller in this query controller you can add all find methods all find methods means select methods all your select operations you can put here so the advantage with this is the advantage with this is okay so mostly select operations you will get a huge select operations right only uh, query methods find methods only instead of keeping them together all create and uh, find methods uh, together you may divide them and implement separately so one team can work on dml operations 
and one team can work on DRL operations. So as two separate teams can implement, one team can work on uh, create, update, delete operations, one team can work on all select operations. So independently they can work on the same use case. Again coming to use case also, two persons can parallelly work. Right? One thing is parallelism we can achieve here. And to improve this application performance, right, continuously, you know, your data, let's say somebody is updating data and meantime somebody is selecting data, all such operations hitting only one controller, create, update, delete, find, find out, all that. Instead, if you have a separate controller for create request, right, this create controller may execute very few times, but whereas this query controller may execute large number of times. So what you can do here, instead of putting data into one single database, wherever you have large select calls, right, you can have a separate database. And you can sync your data from one database to another database here. Only for select operations, if you have a separate DB, right, between if you can use message queues, between if you can use any MQ, So as soon as the data gets inserted here, one copy you can forward from here to message queue. This message queue can update into a new database. Let's say if you have Oracle kind of database here. Right? You may shift that data to MongoDB into document. Because only read operations I have only read operations I have, no select, uh, no insert update operations. For read operations, it will work very fast. So the same data, you can via message queues, you can forward to this uh, new database. From there, you can apply read operations. So only read calls will redirect to this. Even from gateway, you can control now your read operations from UI. So when you have when you have request for read, all read requests you can forward to via gateway, you may forward to if you deploy them as a separate applications. Again, cloud operation applications, right? Admin service, manager service. Again, if you break it down into admin service, you may put admin command service. And one more service, admin query service. Again, one microservice can break it into two services. If you have huge number of select operations for admin, it is not required. Maybe for the products, right? Product service, there you can apply it because huge number of uh, select calls we will get for each product. Now Amazon sale, Flipkart sale is going on continuously. People daily they will watch uh, how many offers are there, what they need, they want to buy, right? So many select operations they do on daily basis operations. So if you can have a separate, uh, you know, query service for getting products, right? So products query service will do only on select operations, and whereas command service will work on only insert update delete kind of operation so you can you can again divide your one microservices in one microservice into two separate services one like a command service and one like a query service how i can make sure that uh, this class uh, uh, this class should not do cloud op i mean update operations or delete operations here this may do select operations during update or delete it may need them but your select query controllers, right? They should not have uh, methods like to do the update or delete operations. Okay, purely if you want to control them, right? Here for only select operations, you can add this property on your controller condition on property. You can add this application write. That is a property application, right? If you make it enable true. It will execute CRUD operations, delete, select, sorry, uh, delete, update, insert. 
if you configure false it will only allow it will only allow select operations so write enable you need to make it false so that no no dml operations allowed here on top of your controller if you configure it okay no dmls are allowed here only selects are allowed so purely select operations you, you will be having here so huge number of requests i'll be getting here too if you consider product query service all products data i have here so the request is coming to product service and it is getting data from products database so you can you can increase you know uh, this services uh, ram uh, physical memory or a number of threads and database number of connections you can improve you can increase for this one okay and it will give the good performance whereas this insert operations may not required this insert flow may not required that much high configuration because very few times only i do inserts or update deletes but many times i do select operation so for select operations i can have a separate service itself okay and from the permissions side also right when you see while granting permissions while giving permissions to the user right um, we will provide for some users only view access for some users we will give edit access right uh, consider uh, you are a manager so you can able to you can able to edit your employee details whereas uh, if you are giving control to hr if you don't want to give them control just uh, for them if you want to see how to see or else in a uh, vice versa right hr wants to create employees and delete employees whereas manager only wants to view the employees so for manager calls you need not to give all the cred operation permissions okay let's say if you implement them together into a one single class and if you allow right intentionally they don't call but if they call they might able to achieve let's say here if you have hr application and manager application and if you have only employee controller here only employee controller it is having all cred operations if you don't follow command query pattern all cred operations if you have here as per use case only hr need to do create update delete including select so your gateway your gateway don't know about it right so any request which is coming from manager or hr i am redirecting to cred operations whereas hr for hr i want to give only create i mean all the methods create update delete select find methods all these methods i want to give it to hr but whereas if the request is from manager i want to give only few methods access method level access we cannot control right as soon as he come to this controller he can access any methods so even manager also can able to access all these methods if somebody try to call via postman or in the manager side ui right if they add create update delete methods they also can able to access them so to make sure that they should not have all these accesses or to make sure that only create will execute only few times but employee selects will have happens on a daily basis for attendance or for you know so many things will happen in the organization right when they want to shift to the projects or their daily attendance they during their monthly pay or while applying leaves i need employees data on daily basis so instead of hitting this service every time if i have a separate controller and if i have only cred uh, operations i mean only retrieve operations find operations that i have here okay so when there is a find call you can hit this service and for manager also you can only allow this service whereas for hr you can allow both the services manager may call only find service only for manager if you want to give this access you can configure it via gateway so only find operations you are if you allow manager can only call this
and for HR, if you want to provide both, you can give the access for both the applications via gateway, right? So in our application, where I can, where we can add this, especially right, huge request we will get from the customer uh, side, right? Customer UI will make multiple calls to products data, right? Products we create in the system and uh, all that products select operations as of now. Uh, seller is creating the products and manager is approving it and um, so all the create responsibility taken by seller so along with the seller application or if, if you can break seller application cloud operations right only create update delete okay or find operations also you can write here but only to show the products data you may have uh, one more service here a product service or only for retrieve operations you can have you can include one more service product service product service you can add where that product service you all view access to the customer usually customer will view the product data that's it right he can't edit that though i have the permissions here right to view let's say i choose this product they give an access here amazon dot in lenovo thinkpad the product name as a path parameter they are sending and as soon as I try to buy it so it is asking address and it will go to that address there is a URL I am getting and when I proceed to buy right when I proceed to buy it will go to the one more different URL so only that purchase options and view options or uh, to get this records to show here right it will be making multiple select operations here so if i reload it offer category multiple calls going on here if you see oh my God. so many asynchronous calls happening in the background Can I script? Script to BMG chief fetch calls, get ads, ads data getting here. So many fetch calls, feedback details. See multiple asynchronous calls they are facing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so many fetch calls with the different urls you, you can see with the different set of urls they are making call so customer ui may need mostly read operations if you see many for fetch operations we have almost all fetch operations only no you know update operation or delete operation you you, you are doing here so products data, items data, everything right as a fetch operation it is doing here. Client details, for client details means my customer details it need to show right, address and all happening in one call, all the products data it is showing here. Meta assets, detailed meta assets. Detail page desktop configurations images AU client detail page SMS sets see a lot of calls happening in the background to pull the data so we may need mostly select operations we may need mostly select operations for the customer UI uh, here customer service we have but yeah here only you put all that read operations uh, in seller service you may put only write operations products data uh, you, you may see it means customer service may have customer details uh, for a read operations you can implement maybe one more service product uh, service there only you can put uh, select operations of product 
so that that operation you know that that product details select calls will happen from the customer ui as soon as he log in using this one and apart from all other services right apart from all other services that critical services this product service only because all product details we are showing there only so where the first customer will get the impression is on this customer portal only as soon as he log into as soon as he log launch here he should able to see all this data he should able to see all the product details here in multiple sections we are showing them right this section we should properly show to him so not only single user right i don't know how to see how many requests they got today but if you if you track them right today or uh, maybe from yesterday or day before they started this great indian festival sale right so they might be getting you know millions of requests per day you know if, uh, let's see what is the traffic to amazon for the great indian sale For Flipkart, it is saying 1.6 in billion is 1.6 million concurrent users per second on the first day of the festive season. 1.6 million concurrent request means per second, per second 16 lakhs users hitting the server. So mostly, you know, for that specific service, right? You need to. have so many uh, you know failovers uh, so, so many clones or you, you may say load balancers so much infrastructure big size you know uh, infrastructures ram physical memory is that you need to maintain for that select service okay so that all the traffic mostly going to view the product details only so for that service you can provide great infrastructure and in that service you should not uh, allow any uh, insert or product update operations because customer is not having permissions without idea if you go to seller service and in seller service itself i have product objects uh, everything i am creating here what happens if i show the selects to the customer as customer is having access to url as customer is having access to url from here by using url rewriting he may send product update data right hacker or if somebody do intentionally if uh, his developer itself as he know crud operation methods update delete methods also there if we hit here from if we hit from here directly the call will go to the update delete methods also method level restrictions we don't have right so it's always better to maintain separate service just you need to use these two properties for it if your service is if your service needs update delete operations insert operations you need to put your app write enable property to true if it is only for read you need to make it false okay yeah that we can add in our implementation uh maybe let's see yeah and then uh, 
security 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 authentication and authorization here yeah. in api level yeah from api oh, sorry api gateway uh, the permissions if i put or you are else Yeah. yeah yeah so role based authorization we can do you know that, that is uh, uh, where is gateway yeah so here if you see the filter right before going the request just you can read what is your request uh let's see this so what you can do if you consider this is security filter here what we will read if you consider this filter is for security first to read that ssl object okay so you can read your uh, sorry uh, you can read your uh, security uh, data here uh, whatever uh, encrypted code or encrypted uh, parameters you send read uh, security information after that you can check authentication you can check whether he is a valid user or not after that from the request itself we can read url what url he is calling and for that url you can check authorization is is authorized or not you can verify authentication and authorization we can do here if everything is good we call filter chain proceed or else from here itself we will block his request we will send uh, one error page to him or we will send error message to him okay yeah that also we can do here yeah to refresh it you need to use message queue to use cqrs pattern right message queue why message queue is you know if you put message queues there won't be much data loss no data loss actually so as soon as you know insert operation is done here uh, this database data maybe not from the database from your application right from your application you can once after insert is done you may call message queue also put data here one more copy this data will go and insert in on mongodb okay so from one database to another database you can shift uh, you know uh, data so here all your read data readable data you can put here from here that data will be read via your query controller i mean query controller query service query dios you will be having here all readable tables hmm yeah yeah you need to handle it yeah via message queues maybe you can uh, put one copy here and that copy you can insert here usually if, if you create one product from here right let's say create operation is there i created a product that product data created here in this database but uh, somebody whoever is uh, seeing that products via list screen they will come to this query controller and they go to different database here that data is not available latest fresh data is here that is not there so how we can see that product data so if you put between right some message queues the data immediately populates here the listener will listen the data and as soon as the data is available it will insert here immediately so that both database will be in sync always yeah this is the producer here your application is producer just for your understanding sake i put a connection here between them but here the producer is this is the producer and this is the consumer application from the kafka side for this message queue this is the producer application and this is the consumer application so producer application need to put the data here whatever copy sending to database and this consumer application need to read that data and it put that copy here okay
No, not in all the services. That's what I'm saying. For admin crowd operations, who will get the admin access? Nobody, na. So he is only calling the service. And coming to manager, manager can access it. And manager services. If admin wants to access, let him access. Manager always. I mean, admin will have always privileges. And seller access also can give manager. The only critical part is customer part. For customer, we have, we need to show the products. Only products. List operations we need to accept, give the access to him, not the create product or update product, delete product. If you put by considering that products are creating by seller, let me put create, update, delete, select operations in seller itself and give that URL to customer UI to fetch only operations. Yes, during implementation he may put it, but whoever logs in here, right? I am a Amazon customer, I can log in. And technically, if I know the URL or if I try my luck and if I, if I call create method something, the data may hit unnecessarily create methods, update methods, delete methods. They are very critical for their business. They should not allow them to customer email. If they have separate services itself, customer even not think about the, I mean, I cannot even think about the seller application URLs, right? And it is even not good, right, while showing it should not go to uh, you know seller privileges breach may happen here as a customer customer should not see seller uh, privileges right but if the common url is same seller will go there customer also will go there many many issues right not only reading and writing so if there are any issues for customer read operations you need to go to seller service and there you need to do the corrections and if seller there is an issue, unnecessarily you should down the service. And you know, that down will reflect on the customer UI also. So customer will get, uh, you know, um, unnecessary delays here. Not for all the services, but wherever you have huge selects, right? And the privileges level uh, uh, accesses also if you don't want to provide. Not from the privileges side, where you have queues select operations for such services you can use this command query pattern but not i don't think this is not uh, you know work workouts for small services which are like admin or manager for them you can keep all crowd operations together for customer kind of services right uh, where particularly you need to lead operations for customer implement them separately don't give access of other services already available also still don't share Sorry. Ah, yeah, you can, yes, uh, you know, tactically you can put this answer. You may say uh, for the, uh, we, we have created uh, uh, initially one database uh, like RDBMS uh, for a service where many select operations are coming to that service. So, uh, instead of keeping it into same application, we shifted that only select calls to separate service. There we use the read fast database. Mongo is read fast, right? Some databases are uh, write fast, some databases are read fast databases. So we put our data into read fast database so that, that there you can apply all the indexes, all the concepts, cache concepts. So as soon as you get, immediately fetch data and showcase it into the database. For performance, you can use so many answers. You can say we have, uh, if, if you have anything, you know, in your application block and kind of content, you can say CDNs we have used and fetch data from, uh, you know, um, uh, from blob services instead of file services, right? Many improvements you can do, uh, not only from the board side, uh, from the database side. Uh, improvements you can do by doing indexing and all and uh, you may use read faster databases for read operations and you can increase uh, number of connections count also that also will give good performance let's say you have thousand connections only but concurrent users are 1.6 million you need to wait in the queue right so maybe you can have uh, multiple databases and to improve it more, you, may, you can have multiple copies of your application, load balancing. 
maximum database connections i have 1500 or 200 or 2000 for each database and during big billion kind of sale is happening i'm getting number of you know concurrent requests consider at least 1 lakh requests i am getting so for 1 lakh at that season or at that time i am running you know uh, hundreds of copies of same application via that load balancer switches uh, i am switching to you know different different application they could able to handle the performance is right in many ways we can improve the performance yeah so yeah we will apply this command nothing to apply actually you can use these two annotations during writing right separate write separate controller that's it not a big deal on top of read controller rest controller right employee controller if you write write it as a employee command controller basically you can apply this for products that is the right in this case products command controller if you put read enable true you can put create method update method delete methods here means your http post calls put calls and delete calls you can put here and for right enable false right you can use only select methods here you can have select find by some methods any method find by id find by all or find by name or email for all your get methods you can use this query control from here the story is same from here you can send it to your service service to dao and save it here, here, from here to service, service to DAO, DAO will fetch it. And from architecture side, you can maintain two separate databases. Between you can use one message to, to populate the data. Right? Synchronously, you know, the data will push to MQ, MQ to this database. It will make sure that no data loss, even if you have to use mostly very less create operation we used to have so that created data will come here into MQ and later listener will listen that data and it will store into the database so here you may use the right fast databases or simple right fast database or simple database here you may use the read fast database and here you can apply all your you know database uh, performance improvement concepts like indexing etc you may create views whatever you want okay to make sure that select operations are faster than the create operations yeah. implementation wise we can add it maybe one service right after sell up we will create one service to only read operations there we will apply these two parameters okay yesterday i thought of uh, add this discussion uh, this is particularly coming under the database management for microservices when somebody asks how you will manage databases you may add this cq or as uh, you know, uh, example also Usually for each application one database I said right. For each data application one database. That too, when you have uh, you know such kind of products use case, you can have two databases. For CRUD uh, for DML operations one database, for DRN operations you can have one separate database and two separate applications also. One is for create, update, delete flow. One is for select flow. Okay, that is what CQRs pattern say. Okay. Yeah, that's it for today. Okay, so tomorrow uh, we will add that concept. Okay, and as I said, right, I will I'll implement this admin service fully. Okay, 
and one one more service I will implement. Remaining services you can try. Okay. Otherwise, you know, I I mean I can't put that lot of jam code here. All the concepts we will cover in one two topics. Remaining services you can implement. I even shared you that tool help also, right? Please try that or implement it. You know, few use cases. Already you have net uh, this access right. Uh, the document taxes please go through it and do that yourself okay uh, yeah as soon as i do this implementations right uh, i'll be covering the deployment part and the tools also maven git the tools also will discuss maybe this uh, by this friday we will finish at least one two services and we will focus on the tools also That's all for today. We'll catch up tomorrow. This examples if not uploaded yet today. I will ask Rajesh to upload. He will make the data available. Okay. Yeah. Any questions? If no, we'll close for today. Okay. See you tomorrow.